Hello everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk and thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's Simply Sketch Day today and if you don't know what Simply Sketch is, well I will tell you uh, that it is Blog Hop and I belong to a group of Stamping Up demonstrators and once a month we take it in turns to challenge each other by setting a sketch and we all produce something uh, based on that sketch and we link to one another's blogs and you start at one and you uh, then work your way around the blog hop until you get right back to the beginning and you see what everybody's been up to. So uh, this month's sketch is being set by Heidi Smith and this is it. There it is. So uh, I'm going to try and make something based on that sketch and if you stay with me we'll find out what it is. These are the things that I want to use today. I'm going to have a basic black card base. So I've got my uh, piece of card, which is five and three quarters by eight and scored and folded at four inches to give me a card in that orientation today. Uh, I've got some Bermuda Bay uh, from the Brights uh, stack, which is retiring the end of uh, the end of May. Uh, and I'm going to be using a few things that are retiring today and a few things that aren't. And if I'm using anything that's on the retiring list and you want it, don't hang about because they, things are flying out of the door. So this is two and a half inches by five and a half. And I've got a scrap of real red from the same DSP stack. And um, another piece of real red, which is half an inch by uh, five and a half inches. Uh, I've got some one inch strips of real red DSP and some scraps of card. Oh, it's another one. It's escaped. And I've got some scraps of card in Bermuda Bay and Whisper White. Uh, I'm going to be stamping using the Greatest Greeting set. Now, this is retiring, so uh, if it's still on, you know, if it's still available, go to the retiring list, go and find out if it's still available. If you still want it, don't mess about. Seriously, things are absolutely flying out of the door. Uh, stock is just disappearing off the shelves. So if you like this set and you've been hanging, uh, hanging around, putting off buying it, you, you know, don't put it off any longer. That's all I'm saying. I'm using real red ink, which isn't retiring. You'll be glad to hear. And neither are the uh, layering ovals framelits. And I'm also using two of our punches. I'm using the uh, the bow builder and the uh, banner triple punch and neither of these are retiring. I've decided that these elements here are going to be little bows on my card and so to make them I've got the bow builder punch. Now I've already uh, punched out the elements once but I'm going to do it one more time. Now I'm going to put that face down because I want the pieces to land on my mat neatly like that and uh, I've made a bit of a bit of a mess of that one but that's not a problem because I've got one I made earlier. Okay, so you wind up with um, two of everything. Let's take that one away because I didn't do that one properly, but it's okay. I've already got one here. And you wind up with two of everything. Now, you don't need both of these, so I'll put that one on one side. And I'm not going to be using these pieces either. So I shall put them away and use them for something else. Um, but what I am going to do... I'm going to apply some adhesive to all of these spots here. So I'm going to put those two together like that. A spot there. I'm just going to bend this over and bend this over. As you can see, that's starting to make the bow shape. And just to finish it off, this piece goes around the middle, like that. And you wind up with a lovely little bow. Now, if you're going to, if you are going to make it for the front of the card or something like that, then you can just apply those two pieces, however works for you. But I'm not going to use them today, so... I've already made two because I only need three and there are my three bows ready to go on the front of the card. Now these other elements here I've decided that I'm going to make those into uh, into little pennants. So I've already I 
cut some one inch strips of uh, the Real Red DSP and I've, I've already done that one. Uh, I'm just going to use my Banner Triple Punch and because these are one inch wide they slide in very nicely and just click and again and I'm not worrying about how long they are because I'm going to adjust that when I make the card, put the card together. Okay, so there are my four elements to go along the back of the card. I'm going to stamp the sentiment now and I've chosen hooray for today which is it's a nice kind of all-purpose sort of sentiment that one and I've got my real red ink and I'm lots of light tapping on my stamp here and I'm just going to pop that down and go one two three four five and that's stamped nicely for me. And I'm just going to get a baby wipe and uh, take the ink off my hand before I transfer it to somewhere I don't want it. And I'll just clean up the stamp while I'm at it. I'll give that a proper clean with uh, my stamping scrub and stamping mist a bit later on. Right, so put this away before I put my a minute I'm already in a mess and I'm going to bring in my layering ovals now I'm going to pick one I think that's going to be too small yes it is I'm just going to pick one that will just cut out that and that I think again is a little bit too small so let's go to the next size up which works beautifully and I'm also going to take some of the Bermuda Bay cardstock and I'm going to cut out an, uh, a frame in the Bermuda Bay for the uh, for the sentiments. I'm going to go over to the Big Shot, I'm going to do that and I will be right back. There they are, die cut beautifully and now we can start putting the card together. So let's bring in all my elements here and uh, looking at the sketch Okay, I can see Heidi's rounded off the corners there. Well, I'm going to adapt that a little bit, but I am going to round off the bottom corners. Now I'm using a, a not stamping up corner rounder uh, because the Project Life one, it, Project Life one, is going to be retiring anyway. So uh, I'm going to use that one, which I happen to have handy. Project Life one is over the other side of the room, and I would have to go and get it. So. That's not happening. So I'm going to begin with a little bit of snail. And uh, I'm not putting snail right up on the edge here because I'm going to be tucking these behind it in just a moment. Okay, now that's a bit higher up than it shows on the sketch, but that's all right because the whole idea of sketch is to give you something to get you started. Okay, so. Next, I'm going to tip these behind and decide where I like them. And that one there was a bit, a bit lower down, wasn't it? Okay. So, yeah, I like those like that. So, again, let's put a bit of snail on the back. Now, my snail is about to run out. So, I've got a refill here just in case I need to uh, I need to deal with that this one and now that I've said that it will probably outlast this uh, this video and no there you go so snail refill it comes like this First of all, you open up the case, just like that. That is discarded, don't need that anymore. Take out that little bit of yellow card, pop it in, and you're good to go. No muss, no fuss. Easy as that. So, uh, put that one lower. That one goes in there, and I'm 
just going to apply a bit of snail directly to the card here just to hold everything down. And there you go. So it's just an assembly job now. Uh, snail along the back of my one inch strip. And I'm not going to put it right at the top edge there. I'm just going to put it just a little way down because I like it like that. Okay, and this is my card and nobody can tell me otherwise. Okay. Um, just trying to think how to how I want the bows to go on. I think I'm going to use wet glue. I know. I mean, I could have used glue dots, but if you've uh, if you've followed this channel at all, I'm just, just going to make sure that I don't I leave myself enough room here. Okay, it's going to be tight, but we can do it. I'm going to need them all going in the same direction. I think I was hoping to kind of move them around a little bit, but do you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, and then my three bows. Right. And hooray for today. Now I'm going to put the Bermuda Bay. I need a new, I think I'm going to need a new uh, liquid adhesive soon, a new Tombow. Pop that on. Just like that. And uh, a couple of dimensionals. Again, I do need a new packet of these. There we go. Live on camera. Dimensionals, I am glad to say, are not retiring. I don't know what I'd ever do if they retired dimensionals. Wouldn't be a happy bunny, I'll tell you that. And let's... Actually... Not only are they not retiring dimensionals, but they're bringing in new dimensionals. Yep. Okay. So, there we go. And there's the card. So there is my finished card. Now I did go back and I rearranged my ribbon bows um, a little bit. Um, and if I bring back the original sketch, okay, so that is what I was aiming for and that is what I've achieved. So uh, what do you think? Did I do it? Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Uh, and if you like to while you're down there, um, if you hop on over to my blog uh, and you can go and see what my teammates have made based on the same sketch. Uh, but that is it for today. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share and to subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, come back again and see me soon, won't you? Bye-bye.